This guy added a Uyghur activist on LinkedIn. Yes. Okay. Now, you might notice this, and we actually have asked you guys before, but if you ever follow us, for instance, on Twitter or, or something like that, do you suddenly get followed by random accounts? You know? Because what's happened here is um, this guy added a Uyghur at activist, and almost immediately random people started to follow him. Now, let's see the kind of people that were following him. Oh, MS, BS, Project Management Certificate, managed over 13 projects. Wow. Wow, Solar City for 10 years, recruitment specialist. Oh, and Columbia and Shanghai Jiatong University. What a guy. What a guy. Now let's meet this other guy, Benson. Wow, he wants to connect too. Oh, wow, MS, BS. Oh, Solar City, 10 years, five <laughs> months. Wow, also talented. Recruitment specialist, Columbia, Shanghai Jiatong University. Wow. Multi-talented. And now let's meet Chen Kevin, Senior Director, MSBS Project Management Certificate, PMI, Solar City for 10 years and five months. Oh my God, the Talent Recruitment Specialist, Columbia University, Shanghai Jiao Jiao University. <laughs> now, yeah, let's explain this. So basically, if you guys couldn't hear that clearly or whatever, this guy followed a Uyghur activist on LinkedIn and he immediately gets followed by accounts that have the exact same background. Exactly the same. So it's basically they a copy and Solar paste. City. Yeah. They went to Shanghai Jiao Tong University, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is prolific. Mm. And we've talked to multiple people that have reached out now that have been approached by Chinese agents on LinkedIn to try to recruit information from them. Yeah. Number two... Other people just to harass them. It's right? there to harass and to keep an eye on you. Y yes. So basically, uh, because he followed a Uyghur activist, he connected with a Uyghur activist on LinkedIn. These Chinese bots that are obviously working for the Chinese government, when I say bots, they're really people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but they set them up. It's like fake accounts. Yes. And they get what sounds like credible information. Sure. So, but they're a bit sloppy. They're always yeah. sloppy. It's Chabador. Yeah. So what they do is they pass it around. Oh, just say you're from this and that. Copy and paste this. So they join and they seem credible. If it was just one of them, you'd think that that's a credible person. You might add them. Yes. Then they would be able to spy on you and start to talk to you and ask you about that Uyghur dissident or pretend like you're someone that's there to help Uyghur dissidents or something and if you can pass on the information or whatever the case. They use all sorts of funny ways to try and sabotage that person. And the same happens with us. Like, yeah. If you follow us on Twitter, you might start to get followed by random Wu Maos. Oh, it might. Yeah. Almost yeah. everyone. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. These days, yeah. And then they might start to, every time you try to reply to one of our tweets or something, they'll reply to you to say how wrong and racist and evil and whatever we are. It's basically just a tactic to try and silence and discredit yeah. us, and that's what and, they're and doing. And also to track, mm. you know, for, for data analysis, to track who's following and why. Right? Yeah, it's this whole thing, right? And this is how they work: is the Chinese government has this huge security, biggest security apparatus in the mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. and they use their mass, huge population, whether it be PLA, People's yeah. Liberation Army, you know, people that just do it out of their own kindness of their heart, or yeah. even prisoners, because we got some leaked stuff that we're going to cover here. Yeah. Okay. So now this is this is kind of important. Okay. The cyber warrior formed by the People's Liberation Army. Now this has Let's just been le leaked and. Um, uh, translated, yes. which is great. So let's go through this. Um, right. This is basically a very like low, not low effort, low technology pe like PowerPoint that we're gonna go through. Yeah. But uh, basically, yeah. so here's, uh, this is in Sichuan. So this mm -hmm. is in Western China. It's it's called Han, Han Wang Shan Prison. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, a training course. What they're doing here is they're actually, this, these are some old photos, but again, this is leaked and translated. So these yeah. are, getting prisoners and teaching them how to copy paste, teach them how to get in there and find certain topics to steer the, the conversation around. Mm. And this is creating farms of Wu Mao. So Wu yeah. Mao being internet trolls, right? Now you have to understand China uses prisoners a lot. Yeah. Okay. Um, and in very unscrupulous ways. Garlic. For instance, yeah, the garlic thing's massive. The reason why the rest of the world cannot compete with uh, China's garlic industry, sounds strange, but if you look at where your garlic comes from, it's probably coming from China. Yeah. It's because... Don't buy Chinese garlic. No, don't. Slave labor. It's because they force the prisoners, and it's terrible what they force them to do, to peel the garlic and prepare yeah. the garlic. Now, usually that, that kind of labor is expensive. It doesn't matter where you come from in the world, you have to pay someone to sit there yeah. and peel the garlic and prepare the garlic. Yeah. Okay? Uh, or you have to set up very expensive machines, whatever the case, but it's an expensive exercise. But in China, it's free 
yeah. because they just force the prisoners to do it. And the prisoners are doing it with their teeth, their hands. Yeah. And because it's it does bad things to you over time, they've got they're getting injuries from doing this. You know, it yeah. really messes them up. But they're forced to do it, and they have no say because they're prisoners, right? So they use prisoners to do things like that, like prepare garlic and stuff. And they also use prisoners to go on the internet and act as China's cyber warriors, so yep. to speak, to go and attack people like me and people like uh, Lao 86 and people like you as well, if you yeah. have an opinion they don't like. Right. So, so it's not just garlic slavery, it's uh, internet slavery as yeah. well. Yeah, and I, you know, that's the thing. It's it's really kind of a, a, a shitty thing to do, to force prisoners to do anything, really. But China's very good at forcing prisoners to do terrible things, and this just being one of them. Yeah. And of course, they do pay people to do this as well, outside of the yeah, prison. Not, not in the prison, I was No, no, but in the prison, it's they do it for it's free, slave obviously. labor. And yeah. they, they've actually, uh, they've used prisoners in the past through gold farming and MMORPGs. So yeah. like, remember World of Warcraft in its heyday, they would make prisoners prisoners farm gold yeah so if you were playing you could technically be running into chinese prisoners farming that gold i gotta be honest if i was a prisoner that'd be something i'd want to do at least you get to play a game yeah but the problem is because it wasn't as grueling as forced labor they would make them do it for like 20 hours at a time right so <laughs> terrible yeah anyway so this second one's in Ning ningbo education so that's near shanghai actually yeah so these are separate places ningbo education this is the ccp construction network for cyber warriors the next mm -hmm. one is the appointment ceremony of the core cyber warriors and the report of the experts in response to public opinion situation that translates to uh, basically guiding the public opinion online yes. so remember china doesn't just block stuff for the firewall they guide the opinion so not just in english mm -hmm. but also in chinese if something someone's talking about peng shui remember the tennis yeah. player the yeah. sexual harassment case they'll guide they'll send thousands of people into guide or upvote certain comments yes downvote certain comments and then also say you know if you really think about it blah 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 and try to coerce the situation yeah and of course they that's how they take over things like quora etc Correct, you know. yes, which they have successfully done. Yeah. The opening ceremony of the Cyber uh, Warrior Training Class of Xinjiang Agricultural University, so they're doing this within universities as well. Now, some of mm -hmm. these are very old pictures, but what we're seeing now is actually some follow-up information. So mm -hmm. go to the next. So this is much more recent. This is from 2017. Yeah. But this is uh, very rare to see this kind of information. Yeah, don't, it usually doesn't leak out. No, it doesn't mm -hmm. get leaked. But this mm -hmm. is being leaked and translated, which is great. This is the China Railway Construction 2017 New Media Business and Cyber Warrior Training Course. How mm. to Manipulate Consciousness, the Four Basic Methods. And they actually go through how they create a Wu Mao. So you yeah. guys, you know what a Wu Mao is, the paid internet troll from China. They go in, they say things like, F your mom, or something like this. And then the more nuanced ones will be like, oh yeah, what about whatever yeah well, what about america? america yeah well they'll they'll do things like i really used to like your videos but but, but we've seen them shift over yeah, time they go all over the place it's weird to see an official playbook translated yeah for four principles and we're gonna go through these how they create these trolls yeah so number one limit your knowledge of the world close your five senses Limiting the perception of awareness of the five senses makes you deaf blind insensitive and pedantic Deaf to external things. So in other words, like if someone's speaking logic to you, you just ignore it. <laughs> what about number two? Number two says, pleasure is likened to wine, making you drunk every day. Destroy the moral values and beliefs of the Chinese people. Let them indulge themselves. Have fun in time and indulge in sensuality and material pleasures. It occupies all your time. Okay. Use fear as a knife at the people. The CCP uses its control over social material and wealth. The deprivation of work rights, the deprivation of pensions and uh, what of, of pensions and pensions. <laughs> Why does it say that twice? Not a great translation. No. The use of coercion and torture, the use of labor camps, brainwashing centers, and re-education centers, torture, live organ harvesting, um, assassination and massacres, and the dictatorship machines range from the armed police, police, urban management. Aunt in Chaoyang District, the police mm -hmm. and legal committee, and the 610 office, etc. Example. So for you guys, if you're confused, these headings here are what it, are on the board. They're teaching to people, and these things below are, are explanations of yes. how this works. Mm -hmm. The last one, I can't read it because we're... Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Uh, the CCP puts a label on you. You, ca you let you cannot forget this fear. Mm -hmm. The CCP puts a label on you, inciting the masses to fight and scold you so that you cannot forget this fear. Yeah. So okay. getting people to mass attack, basically. Yeah. 
um, are some of the principles. Now, this is what they're talking about um, when it comes to attacking domestic people in yes. China, obviously, yes. for those of you who are confused, because it shows you how they can control people. Okay, what they can do to coerce people. So go after their money, go after their um, you know, work rights, deprive their pensions, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah. And of course, put a label, make sure that they never forget and that the people, like basically name and shame them. Because that works very well in China. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, next. So this actually we thought was, was apt to, we don't know if this is like, an, it's not state media necessarily, but this is a nationalist account, like a pretty yeah. well-known nationalist account yeah. on uh, Twitter. And what he was posting was these responses to make a battle manual for yeah. people to go out there and combat narratives, yes. right? So for example, it'll give you, it'll give you something that people tend to say about the Chinese government and what yeah. you should reply with. And this yes. can be copy paste, this can be like your own version of it, but this is how you can shut down any argument about the Chinese government. Yeah. So it's like almost admitting that these problems are real mm. and the arguments that people are posing are real, but this is what you can, this is some special technique, magical yeah, so, tool to Yeah, exactly. Down. So if someone comes at you with this question, like a legitimate question, this is how you deflect. Yes. This is what you do. So yes. the first thing is, one, person seeking notices type. Question, can you tell me where uh, Liu, Xia, uh, Liu Xiaobao, Liu Xiaobao, <laughs> Liu Xiaobao, yeah, Liu Xiaobao, Liu Xiaobao, Liu Xiaobao isn't it's it? Supposed to be Liu Xiaobao, yeah, yeah, exactly. Went. None of his family could find him. So that you could insert anyone. Do, do you know where Peng Shui went, etc., yeah. etc.? Et well, Liu so, Xiaobao, yeah, yeah, obviously, we know is the Nobel Prize yes, guy. Yes, the guy who got disappeared. Yeah. So the response should be Can you tell me where these people go? Not only their family members, but even the FBI couldn't find them. If you are so fond of finding people, please help these poor children too. The FBI official website is for you. If you find any clues, please provide them immediately. Thank you. See this? So this is mm. like a, it's a deflection and it really works on some By, by the way, for, for context, he's gotten a bunch of pictures of missing people. Yeah. Just like, just missing people in America. You know how in America they actually report missing people, not <laughs> yeah. like in China? <laughs> right. Okay. That's yeah, the it's thing. not like a hidden seeker. No, right? like if someone goes missing, you put their, their thing out. It's on a milk carton or whatever. Yeah. Have you seen this man? Yeah. Have you seen this girl? Or have you seen this person? Right. Um, and you'll get Amber Alerts and things like that. That's yeah. something that's actually quite alien to, to China. Yes. But you see, if someone asks, where is this famous this, this dissident that disappeared? His family can't find him. What you do to combat that is you say, oh, yeah? Well, can you tell me where these people went? And then put missing people out there. Even the FBI can't find them. That's a deflection. Right. Ridiculous whataboutism crap. Oh, right? look, the Chinese actually says Chen Qiu Shi, which is not the Liu Xiaobao. <laughs> We're Why just reading they... the English. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, correct. So you could insert anyone there that's gone missing like Peng Shui. Then they're like, oh, yeah, what about these missing people? A random ass from the FBI database or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, what's the next deflection tool that they have? Man, you like to put these slides as long. Okay. <laughs> So this is uh, number two says, say you're a cyber warrior type. So the example, the question is posting, reduce sentences, posting to receive salary. So if this is basically translates to when people insinuate that you are a Wu Mao, yeah. that you're getting paid to post propaganda online. This is what you can say back to them. Yeah. Why don't you say? Yeah. The response is, is it illegal to use a proxy? A VPN. Uh, yeah, a VPN. Am I getting my sentence reduced by breaking the law or am I breaking the law to get legal wages? So... This literally admits, yeah. and it fits right in, that this is a prisoner, yes. that it has to go out there and say this kind of stuff. Yeah. And when somebody insinuates, hey, are uh, they paying you in prison? Yeah, I, or if they insinuate that you're a Wumao working for the Chinese government, yeah. they'll be like, using VPNs is illegal. So am I breaking the law right. then, you know, to go and get legal wages? How can I use illegal means to get, to get legal wages? You see, it's this, right. this stupid mental gymnastics. Yes. Because obviously the prisoners and Wumao and the cybersecurity apparatus of China don't need a VPN. They have open internet access. That's Correct. how it works. Yes. Otherwise, they can't go out there. So this attack. is like a kind of a leaked way of saying like, yeah, this is what you can say to them. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I just got to do a little something here. Where was it there? Projection! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's exactly what that is. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what the next one is. Um, which, by the way, seriously, using a VPN is illegal, is illegal. in China. Yeah. Don't listen to anyone who tells no. you otherwise. We've this got... is a it's a talking point with like some of the shills. They pretend like it's legal. And they, yeah. Actually, it's the Chinese government's prerogative to tell people that it is legal in English. Yes. They don't say that to their own citizens. No, no, no. Because no, no. it's illegal. Yeah, it is. Okay, here's the third one. I'll read the question. You, you read the answer for this one. 
So three, the type of Democrats rushing you back to China. So if they say, you love China, hate foreign countries so much, why don't you go back to China? Okay, which I guess if somebody's out there saying how shitty America is and all that stuff and how great China is and someone pipes up and says, well, if you like China so much, why don't you go back to China? Yes, this is a way to defend which, people that shit on other countries. But by the way, <laughs> I'm, how many times have you, oh had, have you had that said to you? Yeah. You know, you complain about Something. anything in, Ch- yeah. anything in anything. China and they're like, why don't you go back to your country? Yeah, like, get the, the hell out of it. It's the response. first thing you get. So yeah. like, anyway, what they're trying to say is how do you deal with that if someone says that to you? responses in china you you make up lies that you cannot criticize the government and that china is not free i go abroad and criticize the local government but you want to drive me back to china what are you afraid of is not that i criticize your government what you're afraid of is that i'll expose your stupid excuses and choices yeah so you see how this works right? so it's basically trying to say um china has freedom of speech yes is what he's saying well it's also he's also saying that you say, you claim that China doesn't have freedom of speech, so I go to your country yeah. and I use the freedom of speech there. And now, and now you try to, to silence it. me, you know, right. you try to send me back that to That is yeah. very yeah, much. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's ridiculous how these guys operate, but it's very easy to see. And these are just the parts you'll you can find use in the these, put these in your toolkit, right? Yeah, you look you can out use for it, stuff like this. You can, if you want, you can use it against the wool mouse. But no, what I'm saying is you can see this now. Yeah. You'll go out there, you see variations of these four things. Correct. Yeah. Okay, the next one. You read the question. I'll do the answer. Uh, it says, "What did you say about the 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 number numbers? Don't make very much sense." X X X case in X X. What did you say about whatever case in whatever village in whatever year? So this yeah. is a response. So when somebody picks out a specific thing, yeah, if they're like, "What about that chemical 19, leak?" Or a nineteen eighty nine. Oh yeah, Tiananmen Square, nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, exactly. That's actually what they're referring. To. Probably the response is, "What happened to the Black Dahlia case? Has the Zodiac killer been caught?" What did the Atlanta Ripper say at the at the end? You have a case that you care about, and I also have a case that I like. Halfway through our conversation, you suddenly bring up a case that I don't care about, so please help and solve the case that I care more about first, and let's continue the conversation. What is that? That is, of course... <laughs> You know, what we're doing here again is we're just... It's all about deflection. So if someone brings up, hey, listen, um, you know, what what do you think about the Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989. That's really like, what they're referring to. Yeah, or whatever. Or whatever, yeah. The chemical leak that... that, that Yeah, the, the milk powder scandal sure. that killed all those Tons. children. Yeah, whatever. If you bring that up, they're like... What about the Black Dahlia case? I mean, Black Dahlia, wasn't <laughs> that from the 1800s? Anyway, the fact of the matter is... Um, they, they have to freaking go back so far to bring up some random case. Obviously, he's using an example, but basically... Sure. This is classic whataboutism. Yes. If you say, like, what about poverty in rural China? They'll say, oh, what about the homeless people in L.A.? Yeah. It's like rather than address the problem, they'll point fingers somewhere else. That's because correct. Because they, they can't address the problem. No. It's impossible. You're no. not allowed to talk about it in China. I just love these because what it shows you is that yeah. they're very aware of the real, real criticism. Yeah. But it's like this is it's so uh, clinical. Yeah. It's like. This is not how to participate in the dialogue. This is just what you got to say, and then they'll make that go away, and you've done your job to change. Correct, yeah. So (laughs) just copy and paste this, and you'll... You'll defeat them in in uh, the argument, you know. And then I mean? it's ching five mile in yeah, your bank f- account. Yeah, fifty cents. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyway. So the the concludes a conclusion here. Uh, it says when they throw any of the above four types of questions in a match, they've actually lost. They say this because they have nothing to say about what you're discussing. They want to divert the subject and waste your energy. Wait up! I mean, that's mental gymnastics, triple gold medals in yeah. a row. Yeah. Standing on the podium. Yeah. Screw everyone it's, else. It's probably the only sport that China will consistently win gold in forever. The Chinese government. Yeah, yeah for of course. Sure. Well, um, China is in the Chinese government. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I want to divert the subject and waste energy. After understanding this logic, you will know that answering them seriously is self-depleting and meaningless. <laughs> Although the heart is what you say is none of my business. Uh, you know, that's, yeah. means what you mean yeah. on the surface. It's still necessary to use the skills to defeat the nonsense. nonsense. So what this is, is like a coaching thing. It's like, even if you want to have a meaningful response, just use, yes. don't do that. You're just going to waste your time. Yeah. Use these tools. Yeah. I know it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, and they say that, you know, answering them seriously is self-depleting and meaningless. So in other yeah. words, don't ever tell the truth. No. Don't answer seriously. No. Um, anyway, it's just kind of fascinating to to see some of these 
tactics. Oh, it's rare that they just are so candid and this kind of stuff leaks out. Yeah. Um, which is great. But anyway, mm-hmm. this is right along these lines as well. You know, we've, we've talked about the great translation movement. Yeah. It's a group of Chinese dissidents or Chinese people in general that are want the rest of the world to see mm-hmm. that the Chinese government can't hide behind the language barrier. Sure. The stuff that they do to brainwash their citizens, they translate into English and other languages to put it out there and say, this is actually how it is. So treat them accordingly. Yeah. Treat the Chinese government accordingly. Yeah, because the Chinese government is two-faced. Okay, what they right. project to the rest of the world is not what they project to the local people in China. And the discussions that happen and that are condoned and allowed to happen on the Chinese internet, the most controlled internet in the world, very much reflects exactly what the Chinese government wants. Right. Okay. Right. So things that get popped up to the top of Weibo, big discussions that go around mm. the Chinese internet, they are condoned by the government. Otherwise, they would be censored. Okay, it's that simple. It's black and white. There's no gray area there. Mm. And so when these things pop up and they're discussed, the Great Translation Movement uh, translates them, and the Chinese government hates this so much. You know, it's I'm very happy to see his Chinese ox actually follows him. You see that? Yeah, followed by Chinese Which ox. Which is, I'm, I'm glad to see he's coming around. Yeah, I still think he wants. Maybe us he's there. trying to find them. Oh. I didn't think about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, yeah. So what's going on is the very what Winston just explained to you mm-hmm. is so much more important than I don't want to say wh- how you should think, but it's so much more important than you think because this is the first time mm. in all of the CCP's history that they've had to stand up to actual damning proof. Yes. Like there's always been damning proof, but damning proof on such a massive scale that has been directly translated. Yeah. Usually it's like some quip here, some this thing here, or this protest here. This is a compilation of every bad deed yeah. translated into plain English for the whole yeah, world. Yeah, and it started see. with the whole Ukraine thing because right. the, the way China's been so two-faced about that, trying to project to the world they don't take sides. But in domestic media and, and the daily news in China, it's all about supporting Russia and how bad Ukraine is and how bad the West is. And it's just out there. It's not hidden in, no, in like it's used veiled to being speech. It's used to being hidden. Yeah, they, they used to people not being able to understand yes, it. So the Great Translation Movement sprung out of the need to actually just put it out there and like, this is what they're actually saying. So you know, there's a bunch of people like us out there, obviously. There's Chinese dissidents that make YouTube videos about uh, you know pro-democracy, anti-CCP stuff. There's people like us that speak out. There's people like Lila Farley that speaks out. There's a bunch mm-hmm. of people like us out there, yeah. but China never talks about us because yes. we're, we're blocked from the internet. Yeah, they don't can't. want Chinese people to watch us or yes. Lila or anybody like this. Because they don't want people to walk away with a different perspective, right? Correct, correct. But let me tell you how crazy this is. Hmm. In the face of all this kind of dissidence or pro-democracy or anything, they always shut it down, block it out. But this is the first time I've seen them have to address something directly. Yeah. You know, we've covered this before, but on multiple outlets on Chinese state media, they are covering the Great Translation Movement directly because they're so scared of the damage that it's doing. And they ran this clip. Yeah, we're going to show this to you in its entirety quickly. And then we'll talk about it. Let's go. This guy comes on as an expert, right? Yeah. A fourth year student at the the Hunan Nanhua University. Okay, what does he have to say? So since the outbreak of the war, he's talking about the the Russia-Ukraine war. Um, The cyber warriors of foreign forces... (laughs) They okay. can't deal with the fact that the Great Translation Movement is Chinese people. Yeah, and it's Chinese people in China and yeah. Chinese people outside of China. It's yeah. like a, a group of people. It is. It's ridiculous that they have to label them as foreign forces. They have to because there is no way. It goes against the narrative that every single Chinese person is anti-democracy and pro-CCP. Yeah. They can't deal with it. No, they can't. So... They conduct the Great Translation Movement. They say the these foreign forces, right? In other yeah. words, foreign cyber warriors. So people like us, apparently. Yeah. We're conducting this. We have yeah. nothing to do with yeah. this. We're foreign forces, Yeah, by we way. are foreign forces, yeah, for apparently. sure. Apparently. <laughs> and then what they're doing is they're showing the um, headlines because the Great Translation Movement has made it into mainstream media. Yeah, the Chinese government's trying to downplay it and say, oh, it's just a yeah. it's just stupid little thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Foreign forces. Yeah. Uh, they translate. It's my favorite quote. Yeah, this is great. They translate extremely rare speeches 
in some Chinese Chinese media. Oh, sorry, so extremely rare, extreme speeches in some Chinese media. Okay, they're claiming, and this is what the Chinese government's been claiming, is that the stuff that the Chinese or that the Great Translation Movement translates are some weird, obscure, tiny little extremist viewpoints yeah. which don't represent everyone. Yeah, which is ridiculous because what they do is they take the most upvoted things that are on the biggest headlines on yeah. Weibo or various other yeah. things, and they translate the comments and they translate the articles. That's not extreme. That's mainstream. They pick the top ones. Yeah, the, the and big to be things. fair, they'll also translate the top positive comments as yes, well, too, yeah. so that there's balance. They do both. But you know, it's very it's very simple to say. It's like you know, whenever you um, you're let's just say you're for a specific movement, okay, whatever it is. Let's just say so you're random movement, and there's some extreme people that are attached to it, they kind of ruin it for everyone else. If you're part of that movement, you'll be like, look, there are always going to be extreme violent people as part of our movement, you know, and we can't do anything about that. That's, this, you know, it, you'll find that in every movement, you sure. know, and that's usually the excuse. And they're trying to use that excuse here, but it's not a small little fringe element. It's a very big part of it. It's actually the main, the mainstream stuff that's being yeah. translated. It's not like some extreme rare comments. No. And the important yeah. thing to to note from that is it's a direct symptom of what the Chinese government pushes for the xenopho for xenophobia on the public. Yeah, it teaches the public to have these xenophobic viewpoints, and they gets really mad when they get translated. Yeah, I know because that's that's what they want. They want both. They, they want to have their cake and eat it too. They yeah. want to teach their their citizens to hate everyone in the whole world, and the yeah. whole world is at fault for every problem in China. And then for the rest of the world, they say, oh, "We would never say anything like that. We want cooperation. You guys are the mean ones." Yes. That's that's what's happening. It's exactly here. what they're doing. That's so, what this is. Yeah, when you teach your populace that foreign forces are the, the root of all of your problems, and then some people go out there and start saying racist and, and xenophobic yeah. things like, oh, I hate Americans and they're pieces yeah. of shit and all that. And then that gets translated, and you're like, oh, they're just translating the most extreme comments. That's you're like, dude, case, you so. made them say that, okay? <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, with the control you have over your you can internet, get rid of those. you could absolutely, anyone says anything bad, that you don't like, it's removed. Yes. And it's not about like, oh, it's too difficult to remove. No, they can take keywords and completely scrub them from the entire Chinese yes. internet. And Correct. they've done that multiple times. They have. You know, so there's no excuses here about like, oh, we overlooked some extreme comments. No, no. we allowed those extreme comments and we allowed them to be boosted and talked about. Yes. You know? The forces behind them come from anti-China forces. Yeah. That's what he says. He literally yeah. says that, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, including uh, Taiwan, yeah, right? Taiwan's Democratic Party's uh, cyber, cyber warriors. warriors yeah. So, by the way, they say, the mainland China says that Taiwan has Wu Maos. Yes. And they're cyber warriors from the Democratic Party. Yeah. Projection! <laughs> <laughs> it's just you, you can't know. make it up okay so that they're saying it's including taiwan who else oh, he says but don't worry too much why why shouldn't we worry i wonder oh now they just have He's more support says, from like, they've been powers. doing this for the longest time yeah yeah but now no, they got no. more support from western yeah. powers yeah so he oh. said, I'm not even joking. So this is what he says. He goes, the translation is a bit off. I'll, yeah. I'll correct it. So he says, I want to condemn like what they're, what they're doing. But don't worry about it too much. Don't worry about it too much. But when we invade Taiwan, we will severely we're punish We're going to punish them. these, these cyber warriors yeah, in Taiwan. Yeah, we will severely punish them when we invade Taiwan. Yeah. Oh, absolute <laughs> nonsense. Anyway. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Solve the Taiwan issue. Mm -hmm. Realize the complete reunification. He said, especially core members. So they're going to basically find, when they invade Taiwan and kill everybody, they're going to find the core members of the Great Translation Movement yeah. and then and take them down. Assuming, by the way, yeah. that Taiwan has anything to do with this. Yeah, which of course they don't. No. And even if they do, it'll be a small part. But you know what this is? This is another attempt to silence people. Look what he says. Those who deserve to be sentenced should go to jail. That's what this is about. 
Yeah. It's literally about trying to silence them. Yeah. They're so worried that they can't, they don't have control over these uh, people that are translating all yeah. these articles yeah. that they have to put out threats. Yeah. Oh, we're going we're gonna to we'll find, find you. you and we'll put you in jail. Right. So when saying. he says the Taiwan thing, that's obviously part of it. It's like yeah. deflection to say, this is not coming from our country. But what he's actually saying here is that, by the way, guys, we know that you're doing this within China and we're going we're gonna to F you up. Sure. We'll put you in jail. Yeah. <laughs> Also, we must learn to fight cyber warfare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so. Let me show this. Keep yeah. Going. <laughs> such projection. Yeah. Frankly oh. speaking, it must rely on the people's war. So it's like the people's job to take care of this. Yeah. Basically, calling. Mm -hmm. Basically, calling. How do you say, Ren Ren? Like uh, everybody, 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 rise up! Yeah, you like, have to do our job for us. Yeah, like <laughs> it's your job to also yeah. find these mother effers yeah. and take care of them. It's basically yeah. like inciting like we need hatred a and people's brigading. war against. Yeah. What what do they need a people's war against here exactly? A uh, couple of translators, <laughs> some translators that like are kind of pissed off and yeah, want that, democracy. That are that are, but they're just translating actual things. They're yeah, not making stuff up. Nope. You know, oh, that's but it's extremely rare. Oh yeah, but they're not making stuff up. Maybe they cherry pick a little bit. Let's be honest, but like it's definitely it's like still, top news stuff. It is. It's top yeah. news stuff. Um, but yeah, they need a people's war against a, a, a little po pokey little group of uh, translators. Yeah. I love it. Shows you how weak the Chinese government is. If this is a focus of theirs, you know, if they're talking about it, yeah. this is a big deal to them. Yeah, let's see. Chinese internet authorities must also play an important role. Especially the foreign forces cyber warriors created public opinion and spread it back to China. So they're less mad about people like us. Yeah. And they're more mad at the people that are making the stuff here or mm -hmm. wherever and then sending it back into China yeah. for Chinese people to read. Actually, what they're talking about is Chinese people, not even abroad. Yeah. They're saying people making domestic language they just, stuff. They just don't want the influence to no. come back because, they you know, they're so good at that. censoring certain things and they guide the narrative in a certain way. So if things are translated and people comment about it and say, look, this isn't right, what's being, what's being said and what's yeah. going on, and if it makes its way back into China, they're deathly worried about that. Yeah, they especially don't want like a great translation movement post to get back into China and say, look, Look at the uproar this caused in other countries. Yeah, because it's not true. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because they say, oh, Russia's amazing. It's and a stuff. snowball effect. Yeah. yeah. You know, because then Chinese people say, well, what the what am I what have I been reading then? Yeah, because I mean they say NATO's been bombing this and that, yeah. which isn't true, right? And then it gets out and the rest of the world's like, this is bullshit, and it goes on mm -hmm. CNN or something, and then that comes back into China to yes. basically make the Chinese government lose face because they lied to the people. Right. That's what they're worried about here. So basically we're a lot there's a, a two-pronged thing here, though. They're a lot less concerned about people like us because we're not directly trying to put information back into China. Yeah. But at the same time, they're also blaming people like us to for instigating this kind of stuff. Yeah. They they think that Chinese people would never do this. So foreign forces have must to be, be doing foreign this. forces, right? And it, it might go beyond us. They might be insinuating CIA. And of course, stuff like that. of course. Let's see what else is going on. <laughs> We want to stop and alert the Chinese, but mainly Chinese netizens have to be good at fighting them. Again, it's okay, people's yeah, war. Fight them, find out their flaws, tease, and expose them. Ah, of course, expose them. You know, it's the most cowardly thing. This is what, well, the Chinese government does this. It's part of their playbook, but so do the shills and other people, is they try to expose and dox people. So yeah. what they try to do is, yeah. rather than talk about the argument, um, they want to try and expose these people and silence them by doxing and harassing them. He says tease, but he obviously means harass. Sure. You know, it's just a despicable thing. So someone says something you don't like or translates something that you don't like, let's go and find out where let's, his, let's where his family lives. Let's, let's go ruin their life. Let's go find out where his kid goes to school. Right. Let's go find out this and that. Let's expose them. Let's harass them. Let's yeah. find out their flaws. In other words, dig up, try this to see if, you can, <laughs> see if you can dig up any skeletons they may have in their closet that you can use against them. Can you imagine... <laughs> Turning on the news, yeah. you turn on like nightly news at six. Yeah. And they're like, today we're going to talk about the Chinese government. What we're going to want you guys to do out there is make sure you go ruin people's lives on the internet and then they'll be too scared to post stuff. Can you imagine that <laughs> yeah. coverage? That's what yeah. this is. Yeah, it the is. state media. It's disgusting. What does he say? Sometimes you don't need to translate it in English, just use some pictures.
Okay. Meaning that he knows that it's Chinese people doing this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when Hong Kong independence and Taiwan independence forces were rampant. Again,、okay. he's speaking about these things like they're very like the demon, like、sure. devils. We have some netizens in China. For example, Emperor Bar expedition against the Taiwanese independence won the victory. So he's saying that there was like an internet war against Taiwanese people,、yes. and they won. Okay. IP location. By the way, yeah. <laughs> Why is、um, he in Taiwan? <laughs> it turns out、yeah. that this great war that they were fighting against Taiwanese independence forces, right? Yeah. Why is the IP address say Taiwan Central and Western Hong Kong District? Yeah. Well,、mm. you know what's been very interesting、mm. is the Weibo has now、um, got this thing that they must disclose where the person is. Okay,、yeah. it's another way to try and silence、yeah. people. And a lot of these accounts that there have been a lot of these accounts of、um, netizens that are supposedly in Japan or South Korea or whatever, and they talk about daily life, right?、Yes. And they say how terrible it is compared to China. Right. And they found out that the IP now that the IP is public, that all of those accounts are actually in China. They weren't ever in Japan. They、nope. weren't ever in South Korea.、Nope. They would just dress up and pretend, <laughs>、yeah. you know, in their apartments. Like, oh, I went out today, and the Japanese were so rude to me.、Yeah. China is the best place to be.、Yeah. And then you find out actually they're just reporting from within China. Correct. Anyway, it's just ridiculous. Let's not digress too much. We have some netizens. And, oh, I missed.、That. Yeah, that's that's one、oh, I just said. Chinese, Chinese netizens, netizens have. Oh, you, you can read. Have, have wisdom. Yeah, basically. Um, that what he's talking about pictures is remember people were taking photos of pro democracy、Correct. activists and stuff and posting them around and then people would try to human flesh search them yeah Ren Ro which is something that they do in China they try to find out who they are、yeah. anyone knows this, this person type thing so they could harass them and dox them anyway it's just a disgusting setup but the thing is this、mm. I I don't want to overstate this but that what you just saw is so important. Because it's they never face down actual issues that really bother them. No, because they want a, as little attention as possible. But it, the Great Translation Movement has caused such damage that they have to face it head on, and、yeah. they're using the exact same techniques that they think are being used on them、sure. to like shut it down. They're saying like you have to see through this trickery, you have to see through this nonsense. <laughs> When they're actually talking about posts that were posted in China already on the yeah. Chinese internet,、yeah. it's like inception. So I mean, like just to break it down very simply,、um, there's those discourse on the Chinese internet which is bad. Okay, they're saying terrible xenophobic, things, racist. xenophobic, racist, disgusting things about Ukraine, for instance, or whatever. Or anywhere. It doesn't matter anywhere, right? About America, it doesn't matter. The Chinese government is trying to pretend like, oh, let's be buddy buddy and let's have trade and stuff. Meanwhile, feeding to the local press and feeding to the local people、yeah. this hatred towards Japan or wherever. Okay. Yeah. So it festers online. People start discussing it, and it shows. The people are talking about it. So someone translates it, okay, and puts it out there for people to see. This is what's being said on the Chinese internet, the most controlled internet in the world. So it's not like in America where you can have some crazy, I don't know. Weird Dude, redneck、yeah. Ku Klux Klan guy going and saying something. Everyone can condemn it and say this is、sure. a crazy. Right. Because you're allowed to say things like that on the、right. internet in America, but in China you're not allowed to.、No. You can't say anything they don't want you to say. So there it、no. is. Look, this is what's being said on the Chinese internet. So rather than them trying to go after the racist, xenophobic, disgusting posts, the so-called extreme posts, no, they will personally hunt down and attack <laughs> the translator. Yeah. They will go after his family. They will try to dox them,、it's、find、so、out who、obvious. they are. It's photos, so obvious. It's so obvious what they're doing. Isn't it just ridiculous?、So、yeah. Just like the shills when they go after us. How many serpents are they exposed? There's a racist yeah, piece of me, shit、yeah. or whatever videos. Can you find out there? But not one of these videos ever, ever address any of the things and topics that we talk about.、Mm. When we say, "Oh, there's a problem with kidnapping in China." Do we ever see somebody coming back at us saying, "No, there isn't a problem with kidnapping. You're wrong about that. Here's some statistics and here's some videos to show you that,、uh, you know, from my experience, it's not true."、Correct. No. What do you get? Oh, Serpent Zade is a racist, or this or that, or you know, Lao Di Six is this or that, and they try to destroy your character because they cannot fight against what you're talking about. They cannot fight against the truth, and when we show the truth, it bothers them. The truth is the biggest enemy of the Chinese、mm. government. It's the biggest enemy of China. And this is what's being shown. The Great Translation Movement is simply showing the truth of what's being said on the Chinese internet. They can't handle it. They have to label it as foreign yeah, forces. Yeah, they can't handle the fact that it's Chinese people doing yeah, it. Yeah, you you can't handle the truth. No, <laughs> you know, just、yeah. like that movie from A Few、yeah. Good Men or whatever it is.、Right. I want the truth. You 
can't handle the truth. You can't handle the truth.